Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are just doing some quick cleaning. I have some things that need to get tidied up and complete so that I do not feel so overwhelmed with tasks and definitely want to feel better about the state of my house. This is just the season that things tend to get messed up quite a bit with extra decorations, children home more, and all of the other activities going on for Christmas, Christmas programs, Christmas lights, doing Christmas cards, Christmas wrapping, Christmas shopping, you name it. I have been a busy little elf doing all of the things and so it's time to get tidy. My name is Kathy and I am so thankful and grateful that you are all here joining me today. I hope this video gives you some motivation to get some things done around your house and I just want to take this time to let you guys know I enjoy doing these videos so much and I enjoy sharing with you guys and building a community and so thank you so much. I know that there are so many different videos you can watch and you chose to watch mine so I really appreciate it and I am grateful for you guys. Now we are going to move on to the kitchen after that clean bathroom and of course we got McDonald's because today was a day we had a bunch of things to do in the morning time and rushing the clock between nap time and lunch time there is not much time to make something so we grabbed a special treat of McDonald's on the way home. Yes, I do not feed my daughter the best foods all of the time. She is super picky and she also just doesn't eat much, but I know she'll eat this. And we just got back from her play class where she exerted a, a lot of energy. And so I knew that she needed to get something in her belly. We are still working on our Christmas vacation puzzle, but I am very excited to say it is almost done. And that is good news because we're about to roll out sugar cookies on this counter and we need all of the space that we can get. I have been making Christmas cookies nonstop at least three times a week, new recipes, old recipes. I've shared a lot of them with you guys and hopefully I can share some more with you guys, but it is the season for giving them out and for treating ourselves and it is just so much fun. Both of my kids love baking and all of us love eating it and giving it away. So it is just one of those special times of year and I cannot wait for this puzzle to be done so we can move on to a clean counter. Comment down below and let me know how many times a week your family eats out. We do not eat out very much. We might grab something like a Happy Meal or something quick every now and again, but we do not go out to eat very often, especially this time of year. We eat a lot in and I am obviously baking so much that the dishes are just never ending. Uh, if you saw my last video, it was kind of a stressful day cleaning uh, my house that day, but I had and a ton of dishes. I just couldn't get them done, so I had to do them in two batches throughout the day. Today, not as many, but as you can see, I was busy baking, and so it just creates a lot of extra dishes and a lot of extra time spent cleaning up the kitchen. We have a little less than two weeks until Christmas. I am just not ready for it yet. Though I am prepared, my shopping is done, everything is pretty much wrapped, and my decorations have been out for a long time, 
I am just enjoying this season so much. I am do not want it to be over. And so I am trying to get the most out of the season. We are going to do a fun family trip and I'll be sharing that with you guys in my next video. So I am excited about that. Hopefully I'll get a lot more Christmas in my life during that trip, but I am just thoroughly enjoying all things Christmas. And even if it makes a little bit more of a mess, it is definitely worth it. One of my favorite things to do is to clean out an empty sink and scrub it down with some dish soap that smells so delightful. I am still using the peppermint dish soap from Mrs. Myers, and I need to look into what I'm going to get in the springtime, what I'm going to order because the beginning of the year is creeping up on us. And it's so crazy to think that this year is almost over.
this part of the video you guys can kind of see outside it is the darkest dreariest day which are actually days that I enjoy but it is just mid-afternoon when I am filming this and it looks like that it's nighttime I don't know why that happens from time to time it's just if there is absolutely no Sun and a lot of cloud coverage this is what our days look like very gloomy in Oregon I am used to it and I do enjoy it if I don't have anywhere to go I enjoy staying home cleaning watching Christmas movies watching any kind of movie depending on the time of year and just kind of being cozy in my house but yes, we do a lot of dreary days here in Oregon. And now we're moving on to laundry. I always have laundry to fold. I just don't always share it with you guys. But I am going to get just one load of laundry folded, which is awesome. Usually I have too much to even tackle and it becomes overwhelming, but I have stayed on top of it. So just one load today. This is one of the tasks that I do while my daughter is taking her nap. We do not do well with mom folding laundry because it takes a long time. It takes probably 15 to 20 minutes of me standing here and I enjoy folding the laundry and watching a show for myself or a movie that I want to watch while she is napping, but she does try to climb on the bed or need my attention a lot of the time, and so trying to fold laundry while she is awake is just not the easiest. It tends to get, my piles tend to get unraveled, and that is obviously not something I want to do, is refold everything. So I always wait until she is napping to do this, which is why I don't always get it done, because I obviously have a lot of other things I like to do during her nap, but I enjoy watching a show while I fold laundry. Comment down below and let me know if you struggle with doing laundry, if you just don't like folding it, if you enjoy having that little piece of time to do it, if you do it when your kids are asleep, comment down below and let me know. One of the tasks I have on my list to do at the beginning of next year is to clean out all my drawers and reorganize. They are okay, but there are things that I can get rid of and there are also things that just need to be reorganized, folded, and put back in here nicely. So I am excited to share that with you guys when I get around to it. I will put it on my list for January New Year's cleaning. <music> 